Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In this video we're going to learn how to create a multi-projection setup and use different cameras to project different texture textures and then blend between them nicely uh, in Uke. So we're gonna learn how to do that. And I'm gonna start uh, by taking a look at the data that we have. Uh, first of all we need the geometry that we're going to use and right now this is what I have. Uh, it's showing black because there is no light in the scene so I'm gonna quickly create one as you can see we have a uh, simple geo here and the idea is we're going to project two different textures this one and this one from two different ca um, cameras and I have a camera movement that is doing uh, this and it's rotating around the object and what I want to do is I want to project uh, at this frame when the camera is at the first frame and then another projection at the end and then use the uh, animation to render that projection and so we need to freeze the camera uh, at this frame and at this frame and then project from those two so let's do that i'm going to put down a project 3d node and i'm going to use a frame hold and in this frame hold i'm going to set it to one and we're going to project this first texture so we're going to set the camera and then the texture and we we'll want to apply this to the to the geometry that we have so apply material and select the material and then the object and now we should see our projection happening in the uh, in the viewport and because we don't have a light so we're not getting so you can see we have the first projection I'm gonna also turn off yeah so we have the uh, the first texture projected from the first texture and if I move the timeline the camera doesn't move because of the frame hold so we have our first result and I'm gonna put down a scan line render and connect this and I'm going to copy the camera to simplify the connections and avoid having intersecting wires for the time being so now we have our first projection and if I play through you can see that the texture is correctly projected. Now we're going to do the same thing for the uh, for the other texture. And I'm going to delete the camera the light here, and we're going to copy the same. So again, I'm going to copy the animated camera just to avoid having intersecting wires. And uh, you guys can just use a postage stamp and hide the connection if you want, or you can use a dot uh, and hide the input. But to make it clear, I, I want to keep it this way. So in the second projection, we want to project at the end. We want to use the camera when it's at the last frame and use that to project another texture onto the geo that we have. So in this case, I'm going to set the frame to 100, project 3D, same thing, and then apply material. This is the material and this is the geo. I'm going to move this to the center. And now we should see the bear um, uh, the, tex the second texture projected onto the bear. I'm going to do the same thing with the with the scan line. We need to render this and I'm going to use the same camera. And now we have our second texture projected from the camera at the last frame. So now the problem is how do we blend between these two? How do we only uh, how we only get the information that we need from this camera and nicely blended with the other one. Well, it's um, it's actually very simple. What we need is we need a, a mask that can uh, see the position of the light and then based on the geometry normals, generate that mask. So whenever, when we have a face facing the camera, we get full white and it start as the normal starts to uh, drift away, uh, as the normal becomes more perpendicular to the camera, we need to um, basically get a black result at, at uh, those points. So what we're going to utilize in this case is we're going to use the Lambertian law. And if we uh, think about it, we have, let's say we have a sphere and I have uh, geo here. And this is the normal of the surface at that point. And this is the normal of the surface at this point. And we have a camera doing this. Okay, let's say we, we don't have uh, a camera, but we have a light instead. 
And so we place a light here and we compute, um, we assign a diffuse shader. And what the diffuse shader will do, it's going to basically use the Lambertian law and give us based on the surface normal and the light, either one or zero, and it's gonna blend between them. So the light that hits this points will give us back one and the light that hits this points will give us back zero and in anything in between. So if we uh, use this result to blend in, to generate the mask that we need, we can nicely blend in between the different textures. And this is also how we create uh, Fresnel in, uh, in Nuke. So let's start by talking, taking a look at the result and see, um, and see how we can make use of this to create a Fresnel pass. And let's say I'm going to take a copy of the camera. I'm going to do it in a different place. And let's say around frame 50, I'm going to put a frame hold. Okay. And I'm going to paste, place a light. And in this light, I'm going to manually position it so that it's somewhere close to the camera. Something like that. And I have a diffuse shader already assigned. And I'm going to put all of this into the scene. And then we're going to use a scan, scan line render and connect this. And if we take a look at the result, we should see it's one. So I think the reason why it's rendering black at the moment is because the geometry doesn't have a normal. So I'm going to put down a normals node and set it to built. And let's see. So that should give us the normal. Let's see. I'm going to move the light a bit more. Yeah, it looks like the normal is inverted. So I'm going to tick on invert. And now we should be able to see the result. Cool, so now we have, we're lighting this bear using the light placed next to the camera. And if we take this result and invert it, you can see we have a Fresnel mask, a Fresnel pass. And if I pre mold this to remove all the, uh, everything but the data inside, uh, I also need to set the invert to only affect the RGB. So now we're only seeing that and pre molding it with the alpha with the original alpha, which is this. So you can see we have a Fresnel mask. So what we can do is we can place a light under each of the camera that we used for the projection and then use that result as a mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a light. And this light, we can connect the access node. And if we do that, it's going to automatically parent the light under the camera uh, or use the any any transform information available so i'm going to place a light here and i'm going to put down a scan line node the same thing and we're going to fix that normal again so we get proper shading and now if we connect the camera which is this to the scene uh, we need a scene with the light so i'm going to put both we will get our first mask. So this light here is placed on the camera that we used for the second projection, second texture. And now this, uh, this render will give us the mask that we need. Now we would like to do the same thing for the other, for the other camera. Um, so we're going to copy the light, place it here, do the same thing. And then we need to connect this to the scene. So I'm going to do that connection. Uh, it's a little bit confusing at the moment because of all the intersecting wires, but try to make it understandable. So I'm going to put down a dot and I'm going to set it to hide input. It's not going to work. Okay, that's fine. So we'll leave it at that at the moment. And uh, let's see, I think I can make it work. So the same issue. Okay, so I'm going to connect the second light, which we placed here by just parenting it. And now I have the two renders, uh, the two 
uh, lights lighting the the bare geometry and we don't want both of them to be uh, full white because that simply defeats the purpose so i'm going to set a different color for each one of them i'm going to set this one to be red and you can see already it's lighting only this area now and i'm going to set this one to be only blue cool so now we have a red for the light for the camera on the right and blue for the camera on the left and all we have to do is we only need to shuffle in each of those colors so the red and we're going to use that for the for this texture so I'm going to put down an in node and now we're using this mask information to isolate this texture everything that is projected by the camera on the right we're using the uh, light the diffuse shading from the light that we placed uh, under that camera and we're going to do the same thing another shuffle to get the blue channel which is the light on the left and we're going to use that with the second render which is this one and now if we look at the result sorry we need to change this to blue and this one to red cool so now we have we're masking both results and all we have to do is we need to place in a merge node and combine both of them and that's how i did the the final projection so the idea is to use a light that we parent to the camera that we need to project from do a diffuse render of, of from that camera and then use that mask to generate the information the to isolate the, the data that we need from the texture being projected onto the geometry and this will um, work perfectly with any complex geometry or anything like that and the last thing I wanted to talk about quickly so let's take a look again uh, we we're only using two lights here and we've used the red and green channels uh, sorry the red and blue channels and if we uh, if we needed to do more projection we can simply create another scan line and just I have three lights and put those in red green and blue we can also I believe use the alpha channel but I'm not so sure about that um, I wanted to show something else uh, quickly so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this geo here and I'm going to copy uh, I'm gonna create another camera and with this camera I'm going to point it down minus 90 and move it up and instead of using a point light so we've created point lights for both of them I'm going to create a spotlight and I will show uh, why is that and we're going to connect this to the scene so the masks that we've created we have red green and now white from the top I'm gonna change it to green and if we look at the green channel we can see it's only from the top now the the advantage with using a spotlight we can use the cone angle and with this we can limit how much area we affect uh, how much we can control the radius of the mask and we can uh, use the cone penumbra to basically soften the edges of the projection and I'm gonna briefly uh, finish this so I'll make a uh, I'll copy that. I have another texture that I'd like to project. And I'm going to copy the projection setup. And for the camera, we're going to use this. And I'm going to use this geo. And this is the texture that we need. And then a scan line node. So, object. And then the camera would be the same camera is this one and this should give us the projection cool so this is the projection from the top and we can simply use the uh, the green channel to mask this out so here green channel and then we use the in operation 
and now we have the texture masked and we can simply add that back on top of everything else so we have three projection and we've used a spotlight to control the region where we want the uh, the the projection to happen I'm gonna go back to the viewport and move the light move the camera a bit so we can see it better something like that so let's take a look at the projection and the mask cool so now we have more data and we can simply put that over and now we have three three projection happening onto the same uh, the same object I think that's pretty much it I will have the uh, project available uh, the final project available in Gumroad for download and uh, the link is uh, below the video Thanks, uh, thanks for watching and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.